In this video, we'll look at practice problem 1 from experience 14. Mark each scatter plot shown below with one of the four specified correlations. The numbers given A, B, C, and D on the right hand side are the correlation coefficients for the graphs. The correlation coefficient is positive if the slope of the line of best fit is positive and negative if the slope of the line of best fit is negative. You can see that in the first graph the points go along a downward sloping line thus they should have a negative correlation coefficient like B or D. The same could be said for the last graph at the bottom. Well, The third graph is clearly a positive upward slope of the best line going through the points so it should have a positive correlation coefficient. It's not immediately obvious, but by process of elimination and by some analysis, you can see that a slightly positive line would also go through the second graph best. Now, the closer the points are along a straight line, the closer the correlation coefficient will be to positive 1 or negative 1. For instance, comparing the top graph and the bottom one, both have downward sloping patterns, you can tell that the top graph is much closer to a straight line than the bottom graph, which is much more scattered about. This means that the top graph will have a correlation coefficient much closer to negative 1, such as D, while the bottom graph will then be the one that's closer to 0, such as B. Notice it's still the negative value that we choose. The same kind of argument can be made for the two middle graphs. The third graph is much closer to being along a straight line, so we expect the correlation coefficient to be much closer to 1. Answer choice A is then appropriate. And the second graph, the points are more scattered about, and so we expect it to be closer to 0. And by process of elimination, we know that it has to be choice C.